Trevor here from LumCube to break down the age-old lighting question, Lux or Lumens? Let's get into it. So when shopping for your new lighting for content creation gear, one of the most important metrics to look at is the brightness or intensity of the light. And you may be comparing different LED lights right now, and you're realizing that there are way too many metrics to compare the simple intensity or brightness of the light. I mean, there's Lux, Lumens, Candelas, Foot Candles, Knits, Luminosity Flow. The list goes on and on and on. It's very hard to figure out what you're actually looking at. So for today's video, we'll be explaining the difference between these two measurements and explaining where Loom Cubes fall into the mix. All right, quick disclaimer, I am no lighting expert, but what I will attempt to do in this video is to help you get a broad understanding for Lux and Lumens so you can make a well-informed decision when you're shopping new lighting gear. So first we will start with Lumens, AKA Luminous Flux. And Lumens are essentially the total raw potential output of an LED chip. So it's essentially how potentially powerful each LED chip is inside of an LED product. Now keep in mind, this doesn't take into account any of the design features of an LED light, like the lens or the glass on it or the beam angle, etc. So take a light bulb, for example. Say it is a thousand lumen light bulb. However, light bulbs are made to illuminate an entire room, spread light out in every direction. So this isn't really a good metric for figuring out how much light will go from that light bulb and fall onto my subject. Now this is where Lux comes in, or Illuminance. And this is essentially how much light reaches and falls onto your subject. And as filmmakers, creators, photographers, this is the important metric that you need to focus on because it's essentially how well will I be lit up, will my subject be lit up while I'm shooting. As your subject gets closer to the light source, the lux value on the subject increases. And as they move away from the light source, the lux value decreases. An important thing to keep in mind for lux is the distance. Without a distance associated to the lux, it is a useless metric. So are you saying, it is a hundred lux at one meter away from my subject or a hundred lux at 10 meters away from my subject. Those are two entirely different intensities of light. So be sure when you're shopping different lights that the distance lines up so you can compare them on an even playing field. So at LumCube, we like to compare the lux of our lights at a 0.5 meter distance. This is essentially 1.64 feet away from the light source. That is how much lux or brightness intensity you can expect to fall onto your subject. And to give you an example, I'll go through our panel line, the panel mini, panel go, and panel pro and tell you where they fall in the Lux range at 0.5 meters. The panel mini is 550 Lux at 0.5 meters. The panel go is 1080 Lux at 0.5 meters. And the panel pro is 1500 Lux at 0.5 meters. So the bigger the light, the more intensity and the more brightness that it throws onto the subject at 0.5 meters. So to wrap it up, why do we focus on Lux? Well, as content creators, it's pretty simple. We wanna know how much light is gonna reach our subject and illuminate the scene to create the best possible content we can. I hope this helped to get a better understanding of Lux, Lumens, and just comparing the brightness and intensity of lights in general. If there's anything I missed or you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Thanks for watching.